Well, I've come through a wild camp on Dartmoor, staying in Devon. This is the weather I've got. So I'm not sure, too sure what the weather's going to be like when I get to Dartmoor, but it's going to be fun. See you later, guys. Welcome, guys, to Meldon Reservoir, North Dartmoor. Lovely weather, lovely jubbly. Um, so basically, the last a couple of years ago, I, I actually did a uh, wild camp down there, down in the valley, uh, towards the viaduct. This time, what we're going to do is we're going that way, up into the area that's totally clagged. Uh, it's going to be an adventure. You know, uh, I don't have much choice. I brought my mother down, 86 years old, to see her family. Um, and they're taking her to a cabaret, so that'll be a bit of a shock for her. <laughs> so I've just got today, Wednesday, whatever the weather, I had to come. Be truthful, I'm quite enjoying it because there's not a lot of people here. The only person I've actually met, right, a hiker, and he's from Barnsley. Get that? He's from Yorkshire. Yeah, all the way from Yorkshire where I've come from. So we've come from the edge of the reservoir and it branches off here if you look and it goes that away or follow along the reservoir and it goes that way and that's the way we want to go I'm sorry I'm not using my camcorder but it's gonna get soaking wet and it's not gonna do it any good as you can see I would imagine you can see the rain is coming down it's lashing down so this really is gonna be like a, a boggy Type walk, um, but I don't care. I'm out and I'm enjoying it. Look at the rain coming down. This is where you need appropriate clothing. This has all been recently sealed. Nothing's getting through. Same with the trousers. When you start on a, a hike to a wild camp, or it is for me, sometimes I'm not feeling it, if you get my meaning. I'm a bit apprehensive because this is a new place, but I've done my research properly. And the great thing is there are no, I looked all the way along here, uh, as I was entering the reservoir area, there were no red flags, which is great, which means there's no military live firing. And even though they shouldn't really hit you on black tour, you never know if they're amateurs and they're just training to become experts. There could be the old bang, oh, sorry, Sarge. I wonder where that bullet went, you know? So I'd rather them not uh, be shooting their live ammunition, um, even though they're supposed to be pointing the opposite way. <laughs> so let's just get over this, this hook. Make sure it's safe to go on. Should be all right, there you go. It's only a little height, but still a leg breaker. shelter now from the uh, wind yeah <laughs> fun, let me tell you uh, but it's just so great to be out again can't explain it 
It's just great. I love being that. Like I said before, it's initial going. That can be a bit apprehension, but once you're out, that's it. There we are. I don't know how this footage is going to come out. I'm not putting on the DJI mic, so there's going to be a lot of noise and uncomfortable for most listeners, but what do I do? Do I document it or not document it? I'd rather document it or try at least. We'll see. The point I'm trying to say or show people is I'm 61 years old, yeah? And it doesn't matter how old you are, get to a certain fitness level, build up slowly. I have over the, since I've come back into wild camping for over a year or two, and I'm doing things that I would have not done for a long time. And I'm proud of myself. And that's the thing. It's good for your spirituality, it's good for your mental health, and it's good for you physically. Even though I'm still fat. <laughs> but I'm getting there slowly. There we are. Whoa. So I've come from over there. And I'm going around that way. So you know you're on the right track if you're still on this edge of the reservoir and you see that little island. So we've come to a bridge. We've walked from the steep decline. Uh, that's along the uh, reservoir to the left and now if we're wanting to go to Black Tor which I do believe could be I could be wrong but it could be I've never been here before you see it could be this area I mean terrible for the camera challenging weather lovely weather actually I like this type of weather it's no good for film but it's hopeless um, and I'm risking my camcorder having it out now uh, but yeah uh, we don't want to be going over this bridge but being me we're going to go over this bridge just have a look okay that goes into the reservoir and we're going to be following it up this way we're going up there all the way up there so I don't know if that is black tour up there or it carries on and we'll, we'll find out anyway we'll find out won't we it'll be all interesting it's all fun all part of the adventure as they say so yeah um during a, a more uh, reasonable dry day or sunny day great for the children i don't think they'd be too happy with this uh, unless they've got their big weddings on but yeah so do not whatever you do go on this bridge if you're trying to get to black tour okay ignore it this is the second bridge the first bridge we went across from the reservoir we take that one this bridge the second bridge we do not take we go that away so let's make tracks so remember we've come from the valley that way um, and we've come from around here and the reservoir is over here so we've come all the way along, down the steep incline, ignored the bridge. Come down here and we're going up this way, up here, and apparently we've got to go left. Yeah, so I found this shelter under this lovely tree. It might be one of the last I'll see. So I thought, why not? We'll do a bit of the old soap, warm myself up, and uh, ooh, I think it's ready. Let's have it. Yeah, under the tree. Look at that. Ah, beautiful, eh? No, Mum, it's not a gladioli. I know I keep saying everything's a gladioli because I ain't got a clue, but I know that is a fungi. I will treat myself with some bread rolls. A nice bit of the old mushroom soup with croutons and the central waitress and partner, six white finger rolls. Well, it's going to be maybe four left in a bit. Got my cup of mushroom soup with croutons. Got me a little bit of bread. Look at that, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Oh. 
Oh. From Melton Reservoir along this path here, okay, up the hill to the horizon, and we've now come off the path and we're going towards da -da 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 -da, Black Tor. Yes, Black Tor. I know this is Black Tor from the images I've seen. So not too far. Uh, but yeah, as for my hill running shoes that are supposed to be waterproof, no they're not. My feet are soaking wet, but I don't mind, quite refreshing. And my socks will be dry in the morning, so I don't care. I'm almost there. I hope I have this to myself. We shall see. This is why sticks are handy. This is not an ankle breaker. This is a leg breaker. There you go. So, that holds that deep. I don't think you can see it. Yeah. So, you don't want to get your foot to go, to go down there, do you? <laughs> going to break your leg so we best be careful that's two I've noticed very close together those holes oh look there's another one I have found <laughs> running water in the strangest of places right on the top down this hole so we've only got that much for tonight so this is running water it's quite deep so we're going to go all down and we're going to go and get it if I can. Uh. Oh. oh, how clear that is. A twig. Other than that. <laughs> it's pretty good. So yeah. Run in water. <laughs> Right. Get some. Get. No, pretty be sensible if I do this. We'll get some pills in this. But yeah, it's coming. It's coming to say hello. So I think I'll best find a place to put my tent up, and get myself sorted. I found my camping spot. That's the first part of Black Tour there. That's where I was looking around. Um, but I've come here and I found a lovely spot. Well sheltered, look. Well sheltered. So, yeah. So, this is where I'm gonna be. I can do my cooking there. Got my little coat hanger. This is basically where I'm gonna put my tent. I've got a lovely view. I mean, look at this for a view. You can't argue with this view. Look at it, look at it, it's a beautiful view. Lovely view, look at that. Is that a view or what? Huh? Look at it. Inside the tent, I've got my, uh, it's a Fiora Raven Nabisco light one by the way, um, uh, I've got my uh, backpack, 
uh, in the side there. Uh, sleeping bags are sorted. The Expect Dura uh, R8 is my mat. I've uh, got firm arrest. I think it's minus 18 sleeping bag. Lovely and warm. Uh, so, and this is the first time I've used the tent since I did the video on sealing uh, the tent and waterproof in it. Um, not a pretty job, but believe me, it isn't going to leak. Yeah, and that's the main thing. That's what you need to be bothered about. Is it going to leak? Uh, yeah, so uh, now it's just for me to relax. The light's going. Um, and just have a good evening. It was a lovely hike here interesting weather enjoyable slightly challenging but <laughs> it was these waterproof running shoes they're not waterproof <laughs> so i best get them off get my socks dried but the wind what amazes me and this is the important thing from my car along the reservoir it was it was blusting gusting it was blowing and there was noise and rain. I get up here and it's like a misty rain. No wind whatsoever. I'm not complaining, but it's just it's just how it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, no more by myself. So, yeah, gonna have a good evening. Time is about ten past seven. Uh, in the evening, um, it's been raining on and off, it's become quite light rain and very low wind, just slight wind breeze, it's quite pleasant really, but uh, apart from that, yeah, I'm tucked in for the night, it's too wet to be outside, uh, so there's two things I didn't bring, which I would normally bring. I didn't bring my high back chair, be pointless if it's going to be pouring rain outside, which is good because it's not always the lightest thing to carry. And I didn't bring my drone. I've got it in the vehicle just in case tomorrow morning I'm able to put it up in between any rain showers uh, to give you some footage perhaps of the area. But there was no point. I was right not to bring it. Extra weight again. What would be the point? Because I wasn't going to put it up in this rain. So, no, that's that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I've got this light which I wanted to show you. Um, I've put it off now. I've put it on the red light. And then on the red and orange light. And then on the white light. And this is my little light. Look at that. Look at that, eh? Look at me. <laughs> so, yeah, so. It's the one where you can put water in the top uh, and it gives like a flame effect. So, off. Double. That's the orange glow. And then you can have the orange glow with the white. And then you can have the oh, white light. Very mysterious. Very mysterious. Now I have a halo. <laughs> mm, my wife would not think I need a halo. But yeah, so it's going to be a good night. I'm going to watch a film. I'm going to chill and most likely see you. Shouldn't be doing that, should I, on video? Right. It's not actually near. Oh, it's at the top. So I've got a little itch. Got a little itch there. Oh, that's bad. Right, anyway. We'll edit that bit out, won't we? <laughs> but anyway, uh, tomorrow. Uh, we'll see what we see and see what the weather's like. Is it going to be all clagged in? Is it going to be uh, interesting? Will I be able to get up really early uh, and get back down to see my family in Torquay, South Devon? Well, good morning. It is a lovely, slightly misty morning on Black Tor Dartmoor. It was quite an interesting evening. Lots of rain, lots of wind, up to 40 mile an hour gusts. Well, that's what they're stating down at Mel uh, Meldon Reservoir. 
I think it was a bit less than 40 mile an hour gusts, maybe 25, 30. But even so, it was banging a tent about, uh, but it rocks me to sleep. <laughs> it was quite good. I'm going to fall over here. So yeah, so once I had a cup of coffee, I'll show you around the place. Hopefully the mist won't be too bad. We will see. As easy as that. So, I'm not going to bother with a breakfast like soup and, and bread and anything like that. <coughs> I've been snacking all the way through the night anyway. So I was thinking, uh, just have a nice hot coffee. Um, and then I'm going to make my way back down. Because I have family duties. I've brought my mum down. She's gone to a cabaret last night, 86, with the family. She'll be in uh, our place uh, um, all night by herself now. So I want to get get there early I've got about an hour's journey to travel in the vehicle get her she likes going to Sainsbury's for her breakfast so I'm gonna take her there so because of that I need to pack up pretty early and shoot off even so it's been an enjoyable and successful evening quite simply because and morning I actually got to where I said I was going <laughs> and it's the first time I've been to Black Tor and it is, it is beautiful, it's beautiful, so yeah, let's get that water boiled, and I'm not bothering to put a windshield on, it's more for the video. <laughs> so my tent, uh, I've not moved the guide part, uh, ropes, uh, it held fast. Um, and as for the ceiling that I did and the waterproofing, solid. Nothing's got inside. It is absolutely bone dry inside. So that's great. And that's what we want. These, uh, and the ground isn't that uh, hard, it's quite soft. So um, I'm surprised that the guide ropes didn't get pulled out because it was quite violent sometimes, the wind hitting this. But unfortunately, what happened was that when I put the tent up, there was no wind. So I couldn't really gauge which way to put the tent. So you just have to take the risk. Um, so yeah, really pleased with it. I've had this quite a while now, the Fjord Raven. A biscuit light one. Now sealed for winter and uh, weatherproofed. No, no arguing at all, brilliant tent. It, it, just, it just stays there like a little bomb. Brilliant. Right, here's my water getting there. Should have put the windshield up, but I couldn't be bothered. It's getting there. Let it carry on. So yeah, so this is where we are. And just gonna take you around, have a look. So that there is Meldon Reservoir. The green agricultural on the other side of the reservoir is where my car is. <coughs> so obviously I've got to get back that way. Now I've got a choice. I can either go down that way, which I'm thinking I might do, then walk along the river, um, the Okimont River, uh, and just follow all the way around the brow of that hill, but it's next to the reservoir and back. Or I can go this way. I'm not too keen because it's full of water and it's bloody bog at the moment um, and it's risky to do that. So, carrying on with the black top, we shall have a look. This is where the wind's coming from, really. Whoa! And as you can tell, it's quite uh, a lot of wind. So I am actually protected to a certain degree. I mean, look at this. 
<laughs> Wee. -hee. So. <sighs> That's the way I think I'll go. Down towards, and I believe that is Blacktall Copse, which is protected. You cannot camp there. Uh, forbidden. And it is also where the fighter jets come along. They low fly all the way along the valley. Good practice for them. So yeah. Right. Quite interesting place. Now if you've never come to Dartmoor and you've been to the Peak District and you do that a lot, come to Dartmoor. Spend a week. You'll love it. Let me tell you. You'll love it. Hey. Look at that. Whoa. Wind got me there. Careful, careful. You do have to be careful because even if you strain your ankle. That's not good news when you're out here. <laughs> right, okay. A bit more terra firma. I mean, look at these stones. They're just every like a battle. Fallen soldiers. <laughs> marvellous. Bloody marvellous. And of course up there, a little bit high by about 300 feet. And the fog's coming in. Goodness me, the wind's blowing my hand all over. It's been an interesting uh, night and morning, and I'll best get back for my coffee. How oh, some hiker might take it. Naughty, naughty. Leave no trace. I will be taking myself with those two items back to the car. So it is leave no trace. So basically, I've come from the top of that hill, from way over there, and I've walked all the way back along the top and I've come all the way round to here and now I'm actually overlooking the Meldon Reservoir and as you can see here quite clearly that the re reservoir now is releasing water because of Storm Babette that's a funny name Babette my feet are soaking wet great running shoes during the dry for the summer but not, not at this moment in time if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It does help me. Uh, and hopefully you'll be with us for the next adventure. Thank you very much.